have you ever had problems with phishing? I don't mean actually going down to the river and phishing. I mean, phishing attacks on your website or email attacks or getting spam on your email. I have, and it caused me a lot of stress with one of my businesses, complete because I got my business, you know, it wasn't appearing on Google. I was getting hundreds of spam emails, having to sift through them for the actual right email. And it was just generally a nightmare, which is why this next piece of software could solve that problem. Or even if you don't have that problem, prevent that problem from happening. Just before we jump into it, click that subscribe button or I will start putting annoying graphics on every video saying click that subscribe button and don't forget whatever the software is I'm reviewing in the description always have a look at the link fills.deals is the new one and then it'll be forward slash for example this one will be dmark click on that always the best price uh, for the software it could be a lifetime deal just could be a really great price so always click on that it might make you change your mind and decide that you actually want something you didn't think you did. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Let's jump in and let's have a look at DMARC. So here we are logging on to DMARC. Silly little things make me chuckle. And this has just made me chuckle that I put my initial domain I was going to use this on up there and I, I deleted it and it went, domain is successfully destroyed. <laughs> I hope it's not actually destroyed it. So uh, I'm going to add a domain. Here we go. We're going to use because this is the actual website. I used to have a nightmare and still do actually. So we have that domain. And now what's it telling me to do? So now I've got to submit this as my DMARC record. So I can copy that, log on to my, let's see if I can do this easily. DMARC record. This is where this video gets long and drawn out. Uh, D mark record, D mark record, D mark record. It's probably actually going to be in the dashboard, isn't it? Pause the video. I'm back. I started recording this and realised that it had all of the details of one of my websites. So I thought I better cover them up and uploaded a cheesy picture of me being a game show host a few years ago. So there you go. You go onto your records of your domain and you can set up a D mark and and set it up like that. Can you do raw? Oh yes, so I presume that I could just paste. I'm not sure, and I'm not actually gonna do this because let's be honest, how many times have I tweaked or messed with the DS DNS zone editor on my website thinking I know what I'm doing and then I've had to pay someone to fix it. So I'll be dead honest, I'm not gonna do it now, but I think I would be able to copy that and paste that into there and save the record. Don't quote me on this, don't do this on your own website. And then it'll set up the report, so once it looks, you'd have to spend a little bit of time going through everything and it looks like it'll be quite easy to do. All right, so once you've done that, obviously what will happen then is you will get, let's move that picture of me out of the way again. Once it is all set up, you will get reports all about your domain. If you're getting spam, is it compliant? What emails are getting rejected and reported? And show you where you're getting emails from and all the stats. So. Sorry, I can't make this more in depth and actually show it in operation, but you understand that uh, if I'm actually going to install it on my site, I'm going to have to get someone to do it for me properly. So let's jump out and let's do our final thoughts on DMARC. So would I use DMARC? Obviously, if I'm going to use it, I'm going to have to get a web developer because I don't like messing with my DNS. But if you understand the DNS and you can install it, yeah, I'd recommend it because it looks like a great tool to make your emails secure and analyze what is happening with your emails. So that is DMARC. Uh, make sure you do subscribe. Click that subscribe, or as I promised I will do, next video will have annoying cheesy graphics saying, go on, please subscribe. And I will see you with another review next time. See you soon.